Hey there, I'm going to show you how to send all your new blog posts, or at least your most recent blog posts, to your subscribers once every week. Uh, this is great for just basic communication and staying on top of uh, your leads, making sure that they're getting all the new content that you're pushing out every week. So when you're adding a new funnel, because we're going to be doing this in the context of creating a funnel rather than a broadcast, go to Funnel Templates and then at the bottom, you will find the weekly recurring blog posts template. Just click on use template and we will find that. And we now have our funnel pretty much ready to go from the start. So it starts off when you apply the send weekly blog posts tag. You can change this to a tag if you're choosing, if you have a different tag. Uh, and you can also apply a tag to your existing contacts in order to put them into this funnel or add them to the funnel manually. Then we have it set up to run on any Wednesday of any month. So basically just the next Wednesday at uh, any time at 9 a.m. Again, you can change this to any particular day of the week. You could also add another timer to run the same email at multiple times per week if you're pushing out that much content. Um, but at least for the sake of this template, it's set up to run on Wednesday at 9 a.m. Not for any particular reason, it's just on the Wednesday, we can put it on Tuesday just as easily. So now we're gonna run on the Tuesday at 9 a.m. And we have our email template, which I will get to in a second. And then we have our loop. So what happens is after this email is sent, they get sent back to the timer where they will wait until the next Wednesday. Uh, and the, so the process repeats itself. So it sends anyone who's in this funnel, runs indefinitely for them once a week, sends that email. And then if at any point the send weekly blog post tag is removed from the contact record, maybe if you have the advanced email preferences add-on installed, if they remove that tag or that tag gets removed, they will be so removed from the funnel. So there's an easy opt-out strategy there for people who don't want to get those emails. Uh, taking a look at the weekly blog posts email, which will be loading in a second here. There we go. We have uh, the subject line set to new post, and then we are using the replacement code post title. Uh, now there's a few new replacement codes that you might not be aware of under the post section. We have recent posts, which we're gonna get to. We have post title, post excerpt, post content, post featured image. These are all for the most recent post, uh, the most recent published post. So that will merge in the most recent post title. And then we have the actual most recent posts replacement code. So what this will do will show um, a list of your most recent posts with the title being an H3 tag. You have um, five most recent posts. If you're putting out more content, you can increase that number or decrease the number. And then we have the excerpt flag showing uh, or telling Groundhog to also show the post excerpt, which is a truncated version of the content, or you might have a custom post excerpt as well. Uh, and then just some other personalization replacement codes. But essentially, this will show the most recent five posts. And uh, I can go ahead and preview that. And you can see it shows title and then post excerpt, title, post excerpt, title, post excerpt, and so on. Uh, there's a couple other options for displaying this. You can also display it in the card format. And then we can also add like a featured card or the featured flag rather. And if we go ahead and update and preview that. We can see that we have like a, um, a nice box rather than um, that list and it shows up in a grid format and you can also see that it's mobile responsive. So that's nice. And we can then mark that as ready, which we did. And we're already ready to go ahead and activate this funnel. So let's go ahead and activate it. So now anyone who goes in this funnel will get one email per week on Tuesday at 9 a.m. with the five most recent blog posts. Hope that helps.